Okay. This wasn't the video I actually came out here to do, but since I'm out here, I might as well do it. So you may hear wind, you may hear air conditioning. It's not gonna be perfect, it's just gonna be done. And one thing it will be is published. So I'm just gonna share some of my thoughts about why women over 40 need to start a YouTube channel. Not now, but right now, okay? And so hear me out, think about it, consider it for yourself. Now, first things first, people want to hear from your experience. And by people, I mean your fellow 40 Aryans. <laughs> Is that even a word? But I mean other women who are in that same stage of life and are experiencing things that they've never experienced before and that it doesn't seem like a lot of people talk about. As someone who is just about to approach possibly menopause I don't know every month I feel like it's Russian roulette and I'm like is this perimenopause or not so I think that's uh, reason number one is that there is a community of women who want to hear from you and want to hear about your unique experience now, the other benefit to starting a YouTube channel is it really does boost your confidence you gain new skills you practice communication there's so many things that it just makes you better at as you continue to try to build a channel. So it's one of those things that although it might be an opportunity for personal development, it's also an opportunity for professional development. YouTube has definitely helped my career and that one, I think it's made me a better speaker, but two, because I have had to learn to edit, um, I've been able to use my editing skills professionally in different ways that uh, were things I would have normally had to do differently or outsource or it just would have cost me more. Um, so I've definitely found value in adding those skills to my repertoire. Now back to women wanting to hear from you. That's, the community is another reason why I would say to women over 40 you should build a YouTube channel not necessarily uh, different than the original note that women want to hear from you but you will find community as well i am I definitely identify as an introvert um and so i enjoy my time alone but i also enjoy uh connecting with people on my youtube channel through the live streams through the comments um and let that be a plug right now for drop me a comment right now on what has kept you from starting your YouTube channel. Uh, but I find significant value in the community that is that has been built here, whether um, it's around interests like negotiation strategies and growth mindset, or really just different lifestyle things. I've learned so much uh, by engaging in this community and that's uh, a unique value of starting a channel that's different than only consuming it because when you start to connect with other creators you do learn more not only about how to be better at YouTube but whatever is their expertise for example channels you might watch that are about like natural hair care you can get more information from the creators about their expertise um, that's probably I don't know if that's the best example but it's, it's the truth nonetheless. I certainly have gotten, like I've gotten the stock advice from YouTube that has finally made me say, oh, I can legitimately acknowledge that I have gained dividends from stocks that I have purchased based on the information I learned on YouTube. Now at this point, because I'm still trying to practice the information I've learned on YouTube, I've only earned like 16 cents. That was 16 cents more than I had before, and I didn't have to do anything for the money. It was passive income, and that's what I'm trying to glean from some of the content that I consume are different ways to garner more passive income. Now, that's the other benefit, though, why you should start a channel. YouTube can eventually be passive income. Now, granted, up front, it's going to take work to create the content and build a library of things that people are searching for but you can make a video on YouTube today that is still paying you five years from now just because it's evergreen it's relevant and people want to learn the information what else do I have I 
think that's about it. I'm not even going to edit this video because that's, that's besides the point. Right now, I'm still in my semi-lazy girl content era. And that I am also trying to continue to I'm trying to figure out, you know, how I'll make YouTube fit in my professional life uh, on a regular basis. I completed a 90-day live stream challenge and then a video every day in August, and that was definitely a nice little boot camp for myself. And now it's about sustainability and regularly creating content. Now, if you have not started your YouTube channel and you're a woman over 40, consider this your sign to start today. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be published and published is better than perfect all the time.